Age is just a number. Well, Francisco Trinaldo is putting that to the test. He has been fighting in MMA for more than 16 years. So why does he have no plans for retirement? Plus, who does the new champion of the welterweight division plan to fight next? Stay tuned, fight fans, for all that and more coming right up. First, Francisco Trinaldo. 44 years old may be middle-aged in most industries, but in the fight game, it's ancient. Francisco Trinaldo has been fighting for more than 16 years. While he may not be a household name, the Brazilian has earned himself a very respectable record in the UFC since competing in the Ultimate Fighter back in 2012. For most of his career, he has competed at lightweight. Trinaldo was the lightweight champion of Jungle Fight, the Brazilian promotion where he made his name. Since moving to the UFC, he has had consistent success, building up a 28-9 record, and that time has earned him a lot of respect among fellow fighters. Last year, he made the jump to welterweight. Although he lost his last fight to Randy Brown, he has racked up wins in five of his last seven fights to show impressive consistency. Before their fight, Brown said that he had a ton of respect to fight a veteran like Trinaldo, but that he is clearly slowing down now. But Trinaldo has revealed that he has no plans to stop anytime soon. He said that he doesn't think about retiring and that as long as the spark is there, he'll keep doing it. He said he fights because of his love of the sport rather than for titles or belts. That's a good thing because he isn't anywhere to be seen on the UFC rankings. But if Charles Oliveira has shown us anything, it's that it's never too late for a comeback. Next, Leon Edwards has the power. While Trinaldo struggles to make his way into the UFC rankings, at the top of the standings is Leon Edwards, who spectacularly took down Kamaru Usman at UFC 278 to claim the welterweight title. And now, he wants to deal with the UFC on his terms. In a rematch between the two, Edwards was getting comfortably beaten by Usman this August. Usman has been bulletproof as welterweight champion since he took it from Tyron Woodley three years ago. Three of his five title defenses came with knockouts, with two ending via unanimous decision, and his bout with Edwards was going the same way. That was until a shocking last-minute head kick by Edwards knocked the champion out cold. Even more impressive was that Edwards had been planning for that exact situation. Now, the new champion thinks it's time for him to earn more money. He said about making a new deal with the UFC, I need a new one now, 100%. He said the deal's specifics were still up for discussion, but the new champion will use his position to his full advantage. And Dana White has big plans for him. With a possible mega fight in the Brits' home ground at Wembley Stadium in the works, the UFC belt comes with a lot of power, and Edwards is ready to use it as much as possible. But with a trilogy fight against Usman on the cards, he'll have to be at his best if he wants to hang on to it. Usman wants the big fight. Kamaru Usman wants his revenge, and it's him who has to fight Leon Edwards at Wembley Stadium. His manager, Ali Abdelaziz, told ESPN that Usman demanded to avenge his title in London. It's Edwards' hometown, and Usman thinks it's a fitting location to reclaim his title. And Abdelaziz does not doubt what the outcome of the trilogy will be. He said, Kamaru is gonna smash this guy. He got a lucky kick once every 100 years. Congratulations and we'll move on. Abdelaziz promised it wouldn't be long before the king was back at the top. Usman is considered to be one of the greatest welterweights of all time. His dominance in striking and wrestling and his ability to go five rounds with high intensity has made him almost impossible to beat. But how did he get to the top? Tyron Woodley has claimed that his Usman mentorship returned to bite him. Before Usman was the champion, Woodley said he used to mentor both Usman and Colby Covington. He said, I've got the text messages to prove it. They used to ask Woodley how it felt to be a champion and what they should be doing in certain situations, but all of the support he gave them turned out to be costly. Woodley lost to Usman at UFC 245 and never recovered. He ended his career with three straight losses after Usman to Gilbert Burns, Colby Covington, and Vincente Luke. And as we all know, he then moved into the boxing ring to lose twice to Jake Paul. Up next, why does Jorge Masvidal think that he should be fighting Leon Edwards next? And what's the link between Edwards and Conor McGregor? That could mean a mega fight is on the cards. So don't go anywhere. Jorge Masvidal wants in on the action. With the top two dogs, Kamaru Usman and Leon Edwards, jostling for position, it's easy to forget about fighters further down the list. Jorge Masvidal has been a fixture in the welterweight division for almost a decade, and he thinks that he should be Leon Edwards' next opponent. In 2019, everything was going Masvidal's way. He knocked out Darren Till, Ben Askren, and Nate Diaz with his knockout against Ben Askren being the fastest in history. But a string of three back-to-back -back defeats, including a bitter loss to longtime rival Colby Covington, and that loss proved to be too bitter a pill to take. He allegedly assaulted Covington a few weeks later when Covington was leaving a restaurant. The case is still yet to be settled, with Covington claiming that he suffered a brain injury from the incident. But Masvidal has other things on his mind. He thinks he deserves a matchup against Leon Edwards despite being ranked only 11th in the division. He said Leon was bragging and crying to fight Masvidal before he earned the title, and now that he has it, he shouldn't try to dodge him. Masvidal said Edwards would rather be drinking tea, eating fish and chips, I don't know, 
Masvidal might single-handedly start a new feud between the U.S. and England. Next, Justin Gagey chimes in. If there's one opinion to respect from the current UFC roster, it's probably Justin Gagey. Over the last few years, he has fought most of the sport's top fighters, including Habib Nurmagomedov, Charles Oliveira, and Dustin Poirier. And with that kind of experience, he has a bold prediction about Kamaru Usman's upcoming third fight with Leon Edwards. Gagey was in the crowd when Edwards knocked out Usman, which was hard to watch. He's a teammate of Usman and a solid training partner, but despite the upset and worries that it might shake Usman's confidence, Gagey doesn't have any concerns. He still thinks that Usman is the number one pound for pound and that he will bounce back from it. Gagey said, he has been pushed, he has been broken before, he's broken himself, so there's nothing to tell him other than to remind him that we've been there before. And Gagey thinks that Usman's position is better than ever. Usman's drive to win the belt back is stronger than ever before. There's no doubt that Gagey will be in attendance again for the next fight and cheering on his teammate. But whether he will be celebrating or not is down to Usman and what Leon Edwards has in store for his title defense. Edwards wants Conor McGregor. Winning the title comes with a lot of perks. The first one is possibly picking the location, which Edwards is already using. The second can be picking your opponents, and the Brit has teased a possible fight with Irish superstar Conor McGregor. Even though Conor hasn't won a fight in two years, his name is still synonymous with MMA. Booking a fight with the Notorious means a big paycheck and worldwide attention. The Irishman has only fought at welterweight twice, ending with losses to Nate Diaz. But with McGregor looking bulking up recently, Edwards is confident that he could make the fight happen. In an interview with Sky Sports, he said, Conor would be the one that would be easy to make. We're managed by the same management team. There doesn't seem to be a huge demand for the fight, but it's nice to know that it could be on the cards. For now, Edwards said that he's not too phased by who his next opponent is and that he has been considering Jorge Masvidal. Because of the rivalry the two have had over the years, Edwards thinks it would make sense for the company. Who would you like to see Edwards fight next? And how old is too old to fight in the UFC? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one.